Hello and welcome to True Divine Stories. My name is Reverend Betty King. Have you ever struggled with oppression, depression, anxiety, comparison, pornography, fear and anger? We've put together some short stories that will help you to overcome. Be sure to watch all the episodes. God bless you. There you go. Let me stir it for you. Do you notice anything? You think sparkling? I felt in your eyes? It's okay, I can do it myself. Okay. So, have you noticed anything? Yeah, okay. I know what you're doing here. So, you have something to tell me? Yes. I'm getting married. Yeah. He proposed to me last week. Went to my favorite. Hold on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. It was so beautiful. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're getting married? Yes. With who? The guy you just met three weeks ago? I, I'm not, not just three weeks. I've known him for years. I've known him for years. And so, yes, he prayed, I prayed, uh, my family's prayed, his family prayed, and my church has prayed. Oh, he prayed, then he's Christian then? Of course. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go with uh -huh. no Christian. Yeah, don't you think it's a little bit rushing thing here? No, not at all. What do you mean rushing? No, I've not yeah. been in for years. We prayed mm -hmm. and we got the green light. Mm. We all got the green light. Mm -hmm. But you know what they say, it's not me, they say... Who they? I told you, my family, mm -hmm. my church, and we prayed. Mm -hmm. We got a green light. Statistic, you know. You know, if you're rushing things, sometimes we didn't finish, but you know, ending, you know. I'm not into statistics, not those okay. statistics, that's the word statistics. Okay. In-house, what God okay. is saying, we're getting married. Okay. So, mm -hmm. you, you're not happy for me? I'm happy. You I'm, sure? Yes, I'm definitely happy for you. You sound negative. No, I'm really happy for you. I'm happy. So you're going to come to my wedding? It's going to be summer wedding? Okay. Yeah, then you never know. Maybe I will have a plus one at your little party. I'm all the yeah. merrier. But I'm getting married. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> That wasn't very nice to watch. It's not a very pleasant thing. And if you ever have experienced jealousy, you can relate to that. It's not healthy. It can bind you emotionally, where you know you've got the celebration, this joy, that your testimony will encourage somebody. And in sharing your testimony, is turned to this all out war. Uh, the reaction that, or the response that you are expecting for those that you call friends, is not what you, you expected. And then it's turned into something that ugly. Can you imagine? Because jealousy is such a, a, a really spiritually, it's t a terrible thing. It binds you, you pulled, your spirit man is pulled. You pulled everywhere, you torn, basically, because this thing is trying to eat you out. This, trying to, this thing is trying to devalue who you are, what you have got. It's trying to take everything away from you. Jealousy does not fear God because jealousy can never uh, recognize the hand of God. You know, even if God does something wonderful, the spirit of jealousy would rather devalue what God has done in your life than to affirm the miracle that God uh, is done, you know, is doing or has done in your life. And I do believe that if the spirit not dealt with and loosed in environments or in the wrong places can really hinder people's growth. It can hinder what you are doing and it brings so many setbacks because jealousy is very strategic. He knows how to employ people. He knows how to group people. He knows how to form a stronghold in, a, in an environment that attracts people to itself. It builds its own kingdom. It builds its own kingdom and its target is to take the one that carries favor. The first thing you need to do if you're struggling with jealousy is to be honest with yourself. You go to God and say, God, I've got the spirit and I know it's not right. I know it's hindering me. I know it's building a strong goal, strong man. It's taking you further and further away from the truth. You become deceptive because you want to maintain this power. It's basically a, 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 a power struggle. It's a controlling spirit that will take you out if you're not careful. And so you need to acknowledge that you have that. You need to bring this to God. You need to bring this to the Holy Spirit to say, Lord, I want to change. I want you to set me free from the spirit of jealousy. The first thing you must do is confess it. Confess it. Go to somebody that you trust and say, I've got this. Would you help me to deal with this? The second thing that uh, you also need to do is to really, first and foremost, get to the root of it. How, does, how did this come about? 
Where is this coming from? If it's inherited, if it's something that's in your family, you really need to renounce the bloodline. You know, what has come through the bloodline issue, you need to renounce it. The other thing I would really encourage you to do, do is to go on a fast. This, this kind comes with prayer and fasting. The thing is that you might cover up your jealousy in many different ways, um, but it, it will be pretty obvious in the days ahead that that's what you're dealing with because you can't go around destroying other people for you to maintain your position. God will expose that. And it's something that I believe the Lord is addressing in this season and in this hour. This whole pandemic has caused the body of Christ to look inward. And we're fighting against each other because of jealousy. The kingdom of God, the kingdom that is divided, cannot stand. I do encourage you viewers, if you've experienced this, I know it's not pleasant. If you are it, there's still hope. God can still set you free. Let me pray. Father, I recognize that this does not honor you. The spirit in me doesn't honor you in any shape or form. And I do want to be free. So Holy Spirit, I invite you. Help me to humble my heart, to really know what I do not have, that I will use your word and your principle to gain what is promised me, that I will not destroy what's the miracle that you've given to another human being because of jealousy. Father, I recognize that I'm not fighting the person, I'm fighting against your testimony. Erode in the fact that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all things that we ask and even much more. And Lord, I pray and ask for your mercy and I ask you to deliver me from the spirit of jealousy. Father, I cry out to you, set me free. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.